Greetings and good afternoon to everyone who has joined us for this occasion. This is the 15th annual Alpha Day at the Capitol. And I am excited. We just had a very uh, spirited um, conversation with our college brothers, speaking to our mentees, our youth, and it was a, a very great program. And tonight uh, we have the honor of being joined by Brother Mayor Van Johnson, who will be our keynote. But we also have a couple other uh, special guests on tonight that you will all get an opportunity to hear from, uh, candidates from office, offices uh, and others. Um, but to start this off, again, my name is Brother Will Simmons. I'm the Political Action Chair and the Alpha Day at the Capitol Chair for the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated Georgia District. And I want to recognize uh, our leadership uh, our district director, Brother Sherman M. Lofton Jr., who is here, as well as our assistant district director, Brother Anthony Washington, uh, who's also here. So I want to acknowledge those brothers and I want to say thank you for your leadership of this great district. Um, next up, we will have uh, Brother Brandon Upshaw, if he is on. Brother Upshaw is our Southern Region uh, Political Action Chair for Alpha Phi Alpha. And um, Brother Riddick, do we see him in the waiting room? There he is. Greetings, Brother Upshaw. Awesome. Greetings. Awesome. Greetings, brothers. How y'all doing? Excuse my, my filter background. I just got off of a, another meeting. Um, but yes, my name is Brandon Upson. Uh, I am the uh, chairman of the uh, Political Action Committee for uh, Alpha South, the Southern uh, region, and I bring you greetings. As you know, uh, in this, this year, as we enter into this new phase of fighting for the things that our brothers have thought, strategized, planned, marched, bled, and fought for for so many years, the absolute right to vote. Uh, it is critical that we as brothers continue to that path and that tradition of fighting for the right to vote, the right for all citizens to participate in this, this democracy as we move forward. Um, you organizing this is extremely, extremely important. Um, Alpha Man, we have to continue to hold up the light and lead the way in this charge. We cannot afford to sit back and stand idly by as things are happening. We cannot allow ourselves and our good jobs and our good tax brackets to keep us from strapping up our good boots, rolling up our sleeves and doing the work that other alpha men have done in our past to fight for what is right in this great American uh, country that we, that we live in today. So I thank you. I bring you greetings from uh, our vice president and from the uh, uh, the regional board. And thank you again, uh, brothers, for putting this on. Uh, Y'all have a great day. Thank you, Brother Upson. We really appreciate your presence here and I hope you will get an opportunity to, to, to stay around and, and, and listen and, and join in with us if you don't mind. Uh, our flow for tonight, uh, we're gonna have some video presentations at this time and then I will come back before you all and introduce our um, guest presenter, uh, Brother Mayor Johnson. Um, we will have a proclamation from Brother Derek Jackson and then at that time, we have a number of candidates on that's joined us this evening. We appreciate you. And at that time, you will have a chance to address uh, the Brotherhood and our guests uh, in regards to your platform for the offices that you all are running for. Then myself and Brother Lofton will close it out. So that's kind of the flow. And with that being said, uh, we are prepared for the video presentations at this time. Well, hello to all of the brothers, my brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. While I can't be with you in person, know that I am just thrilled to be with you virtually and more importantly in spirit at your annual Alpha Day at the Capitol. I know that whenever Alphas are in the building, work is getting done. Just knowing that you are here makes me so excited excited enough to sing. 
in our dear A5, I better stay in my lane. But no, brother said, I'm so proud to be an alpha man and I'm so proud of the contributions that you're making to our community, including the work you're spearheading here at the Capitol to address challenges facing African-American men across our state. You're the village helping push our men and our boys onward and upward toward a brighter future. And I know that because the brotherhood of our illustrious fraternity is part of the village, that helped me to realize my dreams. In addition to serving as a senior pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church, I am grateful for the opportunity to serve as a United States Senator for my home state of Georgia. It makes sense, doesn't it, that Georgia's first black senator is a man of Alpha Phi Alpha. First of all, servants of all, we shall transcend all. That's because alpha men are about service. And it's what I've dedicated my life to and why you're here at the state capitol today engaging with some of Georgia's leaders. We need to hear from you. And so I'm grateful for the work you're doing supported by stellar advocates like Georgia Appleseed, the Southern Center for Human Rights, and Georgia Legal Services. And know that while you're fighting the good fight here in this Capitol, I'm up at the U.S. Capitol fighting yes. for Georgia also. <laughs> fighting to close the Medicaid coverage gap, to invest in our historically black colleges and universities to keep them competitive, to expand tax cuts like the child tax credit that gives working families much needed support, and to create jobs, lower costs, and help small businesses. And know that I won't stop pushing for voting rights because as our founders understood, a voteless people is a hopeless people. And we've got to get voting rights done no matter what. So thank you and in closing, I want to thank the Georgia District Association of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated for allowing me to participate in today's event. And thanks to Sherman Lofton and Anthony Washington for the invitation and for your stellar leadership. I commend you all and ask that you keep focused on the work ahead for all of us, the work of service rooted in love for all humankind. God bless you, enjoy your time together. I know you're going to make a world of difference. Keep the faith and keep looking up. Good evening. I'm Congresswoman Nakima Williams and I proudly serve Georgia's fifth congressional district. I wanna extend my warmest welcome and appreciation to everyone participating in the 15th annual Alpha Day at the Capitol. As black men and leaders of our community, you already understand what's at stake right now. So thank you for standing up to protect our democracy. My friend and predecessor, Congressman John Lewis taught us that progress is not the will of an individual, but the collective action of ordinary people doing extraordinary things. Your continued work to confront the issues and challenges facing black males in Georgia will keep us moving forward to a future that works for everyone, no matter their zip code, no matter their bank account. I don't have to tell y'all how important voting rights are for securing a brighter future. I know members of Alpha Phi Alpha across Georgia are invested in fighting all legislation that restricts equal access to the ballot box, and we need your help. We can't do it alone in Congress. As co-chair of the Congressional Voting Rights Caucus, I'm not giving up this fight. Let's be clear, the House of Representatives, y'all, we did our part by passing both the Freedom to Vote Act and the John Lewis Voting Rights Act. But in the Senate, a procedural rule that for centuries has been used to deprive us of our rights is once again blocking our path to voting rights. Thankfully, in Georgia, we have not one, but two incredible champions representing us in the US Senate, Senator John Ossoff and Senator Reverend Raphael Warnock, who is a distinguished man of Alpha Phi Alpha himself and a total embodiment of what an ice cold brother should be. And by the way, y'all the naysayer said that we couldn't pull that off, but we did. You showed up and you showed out at the polls and history was made by electing the first black Senator from Georgia and I'm proud to call him my colleague as we continue to fight 
to break barriers. My work has always been motivated by a desire to improve the lives of the most marginalized people in our communities. And as you know, the work doesn't end here. So I encourage you to keep being out loud and on purpose and fighting for our communities. Again, I commend you for your commitment to defending our democracy and ensuring that it is representative of all of us. Thank you. Welcome. I am State Representative Derek Jackson. I represent District 64. And on behalf of the Georgia General Assembly, I would like to, to say to the men of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, welcome and congratulations on your 15th annual Alpha Day at the Capitol. I don't need to tell you what's at stake, brothers. Why it's so important for you to engage your state legislators and why it's important for alphas to continue to be on the front end of democracy because our democracy is under attack. If you think about over the last 115 years, 115 years, brothers, where those seven jewels in Ithaca, New York at Cornell University, they looking down from the heavens. Our ancestors realized that progress comes from pressure. If you look at every aspect of change, there was always an alpha involved in applying that pressure. Think about in 1909, when the NAACP was created, there was this brother by the name of W.E. Du Bois, was one of the founders of NAACP, an alpha. When you think about Dr. King leading the efforts of civil rights and voting rights, it was an alpha. And so I call upon you all on 2022 for all the alphas. We have to continue to apply that pressure, not only because for democracy's sake, but it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do, brothers. And so while we continue to engage our conversation around alphas being at the Capitol and engaging our state legislators and shaping the policies, not just for today, but for tomorrow. The question will become is this, brothers. Has Alpha did all it can continue to do and must do for a brighter tomorrow, shaping manly deeds and scholarship for the love of all mankind? So at this Alpha Day, Think about it, not just an opportunity for us to get together. While we're still dealing with this pandemic and we come into you virtually, the work of Alpha must continue physically, educationally, emotionally, spiritually. Because in the beginning, even the good Lord said, I started with Alpha. <laughs> to all my brothers, welcome and God bless. We certainly appreciate those greetings and we'll, we'll have more brothers. And at this time, we're gonna hear from our, I believe we have a video from our divine nine sisters and brothers. To Mr. Sherman M. Lofton, Jr., Georgia District Director for Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, to the men of Alpha Phi Alpha, to all members of the Divine Nine and guests, good evening. I am Carolyn G. Randall, the South Atlantic Regional Director for Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and the Board of Directors Liaison to our International Connection and Social Action Committee. I am honored to greet you on behalf of our international president and CEO, Dr. Glenda Glover, the board of directors and the 23,000 plus members of the South Atlantic region, which consists of Florida, Georgia, South Carolina. We greet you on this 15th annual Alpha Day at the Capitol. Allow me please to acknowledge all members of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated including the power, powerful women of our sorority who are change agents in the state of Georgia 
and are working on behalf of their constituents every day. We thank you for serving significantly. You have not only found a way to host a virtual day at the Capitol, but you continue your mission, which is to launch a state legislature supported initiative that assesses and articulate the issues and challenges confronting African American males throughout the state of Georgia. And in Alpha Kappa Alpha, we take the lead, L-E-A-D. We take the time to learn, empower, advocate, and decide. We are leading powerful discussions, amplifying our voices, and mobilizing for change on issues that lie in the forefront of our everyday conversations, such as voting rights, election integrity, redistricting, social justice, maternal health, and education. It is a shame that in 2022, we are still talking about voting rights. It isn't about giving a party an advantage. It is about ensuring everyone that their voice is heard when they vote. We are also addressing maternal health. Did you know that Georgia has the second highest maternal mortality rate in the nation? We must do more to make sure women, particularly those most marginalized, get the health care they need. The moment we seize the opportunity to advocate and to educate with passion, with love, and with the future in mind is the moment we fail to see the results. My brothers and sisters, we have lots of work to do. Our connection efforts are a never-ending process. Remember what Gandhi said, the future depends on what you do today. So we are committed to keep working, keep serving, and keep leading together. Thank you once again for giving me the opportunity to greet you on your Alpha Day at the Capitol on behalf of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Stay safe and God bless you. Greetings. My name is L. Keith Reddings. I am the 18th Georgia State Representative for the Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated. I bring you greetings from Brunswick, Georgia, where we celebrate the state convictions but we also continue to fight for full justice for Ahmaud Arbery. To my brother in Greekdom, Brother Sherman Lofton Jr., and the Georgia Brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, I bring you greetings on the occasion of your 15th annual Alpha Day at the Capitol. As we continue together in the fight for what's right for our communities, events like this have become a necessary part of the struggle. So thank you for keeping the fire burning. I'd like to give a special shout out to my alpha friend from the Mu Omicron chapter at Valdosta State University, as well as my alpha friends here in Brunswick. Brother Lofton, I wish you all much success and hope that you accomplished all that your agenda holds and more. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Pamela Lee, and I serve as the North Georgia State Coordinator for Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. It is my distinct honor to bring greetings to the men of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated on behalf of our interim Southern Regional Director, Cheryl Turner, our Southern Regional Representative, Kirsten Sheffield, and the over 5,000 members of Delta Sigma Theta from the 26 alumni and collegiate chapters of North Georgia. With special initiatives such as Big Brothers, Big Sisters of America, the College Life to Corporate Life Initiative, Leadership Development Institute to develop a 21st century generation of leaders, the Peace Corps and the World Policy Council to national programs such as a voteless people is a hopeless people, focusing on voter education and registration and go to high school, go to college, stressing the importance of completing secondary and collegiate education. Alpha Phi Alpha has been on the forefront of advocating for and educating on issues affecting our communities for 116 years. I am wishing you a successful 15th annual Alpha Day at the Capitol, where you will continue the important work of advocating on behalf of the communities that you serve. Have an awesome event, and thank you for allowing me the opportunity to bring greetings on behalf of the women of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. 
Greetings to the men of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. On behalf of our international president, Valerie Hollingsworth Baker, our Southeastern Regional Director, Lawanda Harper, and the Sisterhood and Auxiliaries of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, I am Vicki Pearson, the State Director of Georgia, and it is an honor and a pleasure to bring you greetings on the occasion of your 15th Alpha Day at the Capitol. Our Divine Nine organizations have a long-standing history of advocating for legislation that will positively impact our communities, from voter registration drives to rides to the polls, from neighborhood canvassing to candidates forums, to days at the Capitol, we recognize the importance of connecting with our government leaders and using those relationships to push for important social action. I want to commend the Brotherhood of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated for not allowing the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic to hinder your social action efforts. Hosting a virtual day at the Capitol is an innovative way to continue an important political initiative and to safely bring everyone together. Kudos to District Director Lofton and his leadership team for organizing this forum. There is important work to be done in the state of Georgia. There are voter suppression laws and district gerrymandering that threaten to disenfranchise thousands of people and negatively impact voter turnout. There's also the issue of pushing for laws that will address the healthcare dispar disparities in the state. I am impressed and encouraged that the men of Alpha Phi Alpha have adopted the mission to launch a state legislature supported initiative that assesses and articulates the issues and challenges that are confronting African-American males throughout the state of Georgia. Thank you again, District Director Lofton, for allowing me to address the Brotherhood of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Be encouraged, brothers. Your work is greatly appreciated. Have a wonderful evening. Greetings. My name is Dr. Celestine LeVan, and I serve as a regional director for the Southeastern region of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority Incorporated. And on behalf of our 25th International Grand Basilisk, Rashida S. Liberty, I wanna thank you for inviting us to participate in the 15th annual Alpha Day at the Capitol. For generations, members of the Divine Nine have fought for justice and equal rights, including notable members of Alpha Phi Alpha. And yet in 2022, we still have the need to galvanize our collective resources and human capital to continue the fight. This day and every day, I ask that we continue to partner together to ensure that our collective voices are heard and our freedoms are upheld. Let us fight on together as one, embodied as a group of people who can change the destiny of generations to come. Thank you. Thank you. Those were wonderful greetings from our D9 brothers and sisters. I know many of you are on and we just appreciate your time for being us with being us with here with us tonight. Um, it is now my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker, um, my brother, our brother, uh, brother Honorable Mayor Van Johnson. He lives by the core principles of purpose, passion and people. He is a native of New York. He was educated in New York public school system. Um, but he received his degrees from Savannah State University and Georgia Southern. More importantly, he was made at one of the best undergraduate alpha chapters in the state, the Delta Eta chapter seated at Savannah State University. He was first elected in 2004 and subsequently three more times after that. And now he sits as the mayor of the seaport city of Savannah, uh, the city where goods and services come into our state is a major stakeholder along the East Coast. His full bio obviously is on the city of Savannah's website. With no further ado, I want to introduce our brother, Brother Mayor Honorable Van Johnson. Thank you so much, Brother Simmons. Thank you so much for the opportunity to everyone uh, that is gathered. I am so honored 
uh, to have this opportunity uh, to Brother Sh uh, Sh Sherman Lofton Jr. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Brother Anthony Washington, thank you. It's, of course, again, Will Simmons, and it's always a pleasure for me to see Brother Ellis Albright anywhere, uh, my <laughs> good friend and my brother. And then, of course, to the mighty men of the Beta Phi Lambda chapter uh, here in Savannah, Georgia. Um, these are mighty men doing mighty things. And so I just want to shout them out as well and to everyone. Uh, just an honor to be here. I guess y'all couldn't get Senator Warnock, so I just, you know, it fell on me. I'll take it. Uh, uh, certainly a, a great honor to, to have him as well. Um, and to all that's joined us, both uh, my brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha, and then of course those that have joined um, for this very, very important day. Um, we know that the history of Alpha is that we're not gonna be stopped and we're not gonna let a virus stop us from doing the work that we have to do. So thank you, uh, those of you for seeing the need to persist nevertheless. Uh, and so I appreciate that. Um, so I had some thoughts about what I wanted to talk about, and then it, it kind of changed. And sometimes it does change. Um, and people have heard me talk about this because I know all of us have these, you have things that you think about. Uh, and I know when I get motivated to go and work, I need like my song to help bump me. I mean, you know, you need y'all remember that you just need something to kind of get you ready to face the day. And so sometimes it's gospel. Um, some most times it's not. Uh, it, it can be sometimes some pretty hype stuff. But I just gotta get my mind in the right space. But one of my favorite, particularly, and it happened this morning, um, and this is really not for young people. Um, and it, I'm a little older. But uh, this is from 1975, and it was uh, a song uh, by a group uh, called Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes. And I talk about this a lot because it gets me, uh, it reminds me of what my purpose is. It reminds me of what I want to do. And the song was called Wake Up Everybody. And it says very clearly, wake up everybody, no more sleeping in bed, no more backward thinking, time for thinking ahead. The world has changed so very much from what it used to be. There's so much hatred war and poverty. Wake up all the teachers, time to teach a new way. Maybe then they'll listen to what you have to say, because they're the ones who's coming up and the world is in their hands. When you teach the children, you teach them the very best you can. And then the song says that the world won't get no better if you just let it be. The world won't get no better. We've got to change it, y'all. Just you and me. And so as we celebrate and as we observe the 15th uh, Alpha Day at the Capitol, um, it, it brought to my mind and my remembrance to not only um, remind you, but to encourage you to do what we do. And that's the first thing we have to wake up and we have to remember, brothers, who we are. We are the first. We are the first intercollegiate Greek letter fraternity. We were established for African-American men uh, 115 years ago. And as was said before, whenever there's been a movement uh, in this country in the last 115 years, you better believe there's going to be an alpha man uh, somewhere at the head, leading, guiding, and directing. We, we, we are the, the talented 10th that, that the boys talked about, uh, that we were sacrificing the individuals for the collective whole. We were the ones that, that were, were being able to create social change at times when it was very difficult to do so. We are the beneficiaries of that change. We're the beneficiaries uh, of that hope. We're the beneficiaries of that of sacrifice. We're beneficiaries of those prayers. College days swiftly pass, but we live a lifetime of service. And the day comes when all of a sudden we're not the young, we're not on, on the yard anymore. And, and so it has to turn, it has to pivot. And that's what alpha men do, that we, we pivot from those college days into now a lifetime of service. And so we, as we wake up, as Teddy Pendergrass and Harold Melvin say, that, that we also, we remember who we are. Are. Not only do we have to wake up and remember who we are, we have to also wake up and remember what we are about. And certainly we are, we're the fraternity of, of the boys and, and Powell and Brooke and King and Marshall and Jackson and Young and Lowry, Robeson and Warnock. We, we, we're the fraternity of men who have made differences, men who have made inroads. And we didn't make it by being scared. 
We didn't make it by, by being concerned about uh, our reputation or our character, or in some cases, even our well being. We did it because we knew that it was the right thing to do, that we were the voice and the vision uh, to the struggle of people uh, in of color in this country, and certainly uh, the voice and vision of struggle of people right here in Georgia. We know we're, we're the ones that go to high school, uh, go to college, and voter education, and the, uh, uh, voteless people as a hopeless people, where we remember what we're all about. That we, you know, we look good in our suits, and we like wearing our suits, but we'll put on some Tims and some jeans if we have to that our, our weapons are still here in our mind and with our, our prayers, but being able to make sure we're fighting the good fight, getting into what's called good trouble uh, on the, on the, for the benefit of the greater whole. We have to remember what we are about. So we remember who we are, we remember what we're about, and we wake up to remember that the fight is not about us. And so many of us have been blessed to do magnificent things. I, I was looking through here, checking out some of the, I mean, we have some dignified, established brothers. And I mean, some of y'all, I'm probably calling to ask for some money because um, some of y'all got it really going on. I need the hookup. I mean, I mean, we got some brothers that are doing some great things. But what I like about Alpha is that we realize that in that, that, what we have, what we've done, what we've been able to accomplish means nothing if we don't leave something for the generation behind us. And so, you know, we know what the okie doke looks like. And we know what it looks like here in Georgia. And we know that, that, that we're not gonna let folks just come and, 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 and sit at our banquets and grin at our face at election time. And then we're gonna turn around and we're gonna support them while they're voting against our best interests. Alpha Days the Capital is about accountability, making sure that people are very, very clear, and we've done it before, that if you're not about the greater good, you might need to be home. But it's about advocacy. It's about the right to vote, which we know so well. Yet Georgia has been nationally known as hijacking voter rights voter participation by enacting some of the most draconian um, voting rights in the nation. And folks sometimes here in Georgia are proud about that. That the same means by which people worked really hard to make voting available to people all over the place, to make it convenient, to make it easy to vote for people to participate in the fundamental uh, responsibility of a citizen. Because you didn't like how the results turned out, or were we gonna change this game about that? Alphas are not standing for that. And so therefore, that's why not only do we support here in Georgia, but we support uh, NDC, we support uh, Senator Warnock, we support Representative Williams, we support Senator Ossoff in their fight to make sure that this John Lewis Voting Rights Act gets passed because it's what we're all about, because the fight is not about us. That we recognize the fight is not about us because Georgia has gun laws that are absolutely draconian. I mean, what, what gun laws? where it's easier to get a gun and they try to make it easier to get a gun than it is to get a driver's license, that you don't need a permit to carry a gun, yet black boys are being shot in the streets across the state of Georgia. And we seem to think that's okay. Here in Savannah, we just had a 15 year old lose his life. 15 years old. And I will tell you that alpha men across the state are rightfully and indignantly outraged by the fact that we live in a state that it seems to be that the NRA seems to get more credibility than folks right here in our cities that are looking at this every single day. We're not against guns. We're just against gun laws that make sense, that it shouldn't be so easy. So, so we, we remember that this fight is not about us. We, we do know that this fight is also about Medicaid expansion. We know that many of us are blessed that when we get sick, we can go to the doctor. 
and we can pull a little card out of our pocket and we know all is well, but we know there are so many of us here in Georgia that don't have that opportunity, that don't have that luxury. And certainly COVID has ex exploited every deficiency in our social welfare system. And we know that poor people, if you were poor, you had issues as it related to COVID. We know if you were poor, you were less likely to, to fare well with COVID-19. So we recognize that this issue is not about us. The fight is not about us. We're here advocating on behalf of the least of these, God's children. We're here advocating on those who don't have. We're advocating of those who can't speak or those who don't speak the Queen's English, those that may not be able to articulate the laws, but we can do it because we're blessed men of Alpha. We're that talented tenth to be able to come and speak on behalf of those who cannot speak for themselves. That's what we're about. We're about education and making sure that even as we are here in, in Black History Month, that people know the whole truth about everything. Yes, we, we have an ugly history, but it is what it is. And we recognize our young people have to have a full and fair focus of the entire story. Savannah just celebrated its 289th anniversary. And guess what? It has not always been, um, it has not always been Sunday in Savannah. It's the truth. The city of Savannah at one point owned slaves. It's the truth. And so we want to make sure that our young people are not only highly trained, we want to make sure that they are well-rounded. So that's what it's about. As we take that charge from Harold, Melvin, and, and the Blue Notes, as I get in my car and I bump to be able to start my day, I have to refocus on the purpose for which I am, who I am, and why I believe I've been purposed to do that which God has purposed me to do. And it's not to get in here and, and look pretty. It's to be able to get there and be able to advocate, agitate on behalf of those who can't do for themselves. And that is why I am so blessed to be a man of Alpha Phi Alpha, because not only in our past, not only currently across the country, but particularly here in Georgia and absolutely in Savannah, you have Black men that are about the right things. We woke, y'all. We're woke. And so our day at the Capitol is our opportunity to be able to make sure that we go to the king and we make sure that our issues are heard. And as they said in the book of Esther, if I perish, I perish. But the fact of the matter is, we know that we're protected by a much, much higher power. Wake up, everybody. No more sleeping in bed. No more uh, back with thinking time, but thinking ahead. I will go a little further and say, wake up, men of Alpha. Georgia is waiting on us to be strong men of valor, engaged, involved, and in just. Things won't get better if we just let it be. These legislators must know that we're not only the first, but we are mighty. First of all, servants of all, we shall transcend all. Thank you all so much for this opportunity. Thank you, Brother Johnson. And we have something for you when I make my next trip to Savannah, but thank you so much, brother, for those strong and encouraging words. And we're proud of the work you're doing down there in Savannah in the seaport city. Thank you, Keep brother. Your prayers. Thank you, brothers. Yes, sir. Uh, we, we, we do have on with us uh, Mr. Brian Mock uh, um, from Kappa Alpha Psi, another one of our brother organizations. And we'd like to give him the floor uh, to bring greetings on behalf of Kappa Alpha Psi. Mr. Mock, you on. Thank you. Uh, greetings, my fellow uh, fratters. Uh, my name is Brian Mock. I'm 27th Province Pole Mark of the Southeastern Province of Kappa Alpha Psi, uh, native of South Georgia by way of Albany State University, um, the Delta Z chapter. And um, I, I, I have a lot of friends that are alphas, um, it, all, kappas as well, but um, my two best men were alphas. And so I just really have an affinity for uh, Alpha Phi Alpha as, a, as an organization. And, and I come bringing greetings on behalf of our 2,300 brothers 
uh, two states and four countries, uh, South Carolina, Georgia, um, South Africa, um, the UAE and Nigeria. And so we are here to support you all. Just know that we all have the same mission pretty much and to uplift each other and to, and, and, and to move the, the black community forward. And we are in support of whatever legislation that is to make us uh, be successful and viable in the community. Uh, we, we do not take this for granted. Uh, we, we take this partnership very seriously. And what I mean by that, our entire NPHC group, uh, we must make sure that we are working together in order to move uh, our community forward. And we can only do it together. Um, a, 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 Open hand is nothing, but with a bottle of fish, you can do you can make a huge impact. And so with that being said, you have our support. Um, I see some other brothers on here as well that I know personally. Um, just let us know at any given time how we can partnership and work together um, and, and then we can move this thing forward. Thank you all so much for your time and this opportunity to speak on behalf of Cap Alpha Psi. Just know that we're standing in the gap with you all. Thank you, Brother Mark, and I'm sure I, I can express the sentiments of our district director who's on, Brother Lofton. Uh, we, we extend the same offer, Brother. We, we're here in the trenches together, and we just appreciate you for taking the time and joining us this evening on Alpha Day at the Capitol, sir. If you, yeah. let us, let us Thank go. you all. Yes, sir. All right. At this time, we're going to have a proclamation by Brother State Representative Derek Jackson. Brother Jackson. Good evening, brothers. I have a proclamation um, and it goes as follows. Whereas Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, the first intercollegiate Greek letter fraternity established for African-American men was founded at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York on December 4th, 1906 by Henry Callis. Let me, let me correct that. Henry. Arthur Callis, Charles Henry Chapman, Eugene Kinkle Jones, George Biddle Kelly, Nathaniel Allison Murray, Robert Harold Ogle, and Vertner Wilson Tandy. These seven brothers, the late brothers we know as our Jews, who recognized the need for a strong bond of brotherhood among African descendants in this country. And whereas Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated for 115 years has been a beacon of light to the community by staying true to the aims of manly deeds, scholarship, and love for all mankind. And whereas Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated has a current membership of over 70,000 college educated men inducted into over 700 college and alumni chapters in the United States, Europe, Asia, and the Caribbean. And whereas Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated continues to live its mission of developing leaders, promoting brotherhood and academic excellence while providing service and advocacy for communities by contributing to two point, over $2.3 million in academic scholarships and volunteering 850,000 community service hours. Whereas Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated counts renowned Georgians as members such as the Reverend, late Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Ambassador Andrew Young, the late Mayor Maynard H. Jackson, the Senator Raphael Warnock, Congressman David Scott, the late W.E. Du Bois, Dr. Louis Sullivan, actor Omari Harwick, businessman John Hope, and Mayor Van Johnson, and yes, yours truly, Derek Jackson. Whereas the one, the 15th annual Alpha Day at the Capitol convenes under the leadership of Georgia District Director Brother Sherman M. Lofton Jr. and Assistant Director, Distant District Director Brother Anthony Washington, representing 42 chapters across Georgia. Now, therefore, let it be resolved 
do hereby proclaim today, February 17, 2022, as Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, Alpha Day at the Capitol in Georgia, and urge all citizens to recognize and applaud the contributions of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated and the Georgia District in their commitment to making our communities a better place to reside. And I will present this proclamation, Brother Simmons, uh, to uh, Brother Sherman Lofton at the convenient date. Thank you, Brother Jackson. And thank you for doing it for so many years for us. We appreciate you, brother. It's great to have a brother under the Capitol Dome. Um, we have a couple of um, uh, candidates on for various offices. And I just want to say, um, yes, we had to be creative and, 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 and do this virtually for health concerns and just safety. Um, but when we have Alpha Day at the Capitol, Pat Capital, we actually make an impact. We we gather, we go across the street, we page our, our state le legislators, our senators, we ask questions. Uh, we have our mentees there with us as well. And we, we ask the questions on issues that affect our communities. And so, yes, we, we are virtual, but we, uh, we do make that Alpha Dent Capital impactful. And so I just wanna say thank you and, and make sure you understand uh, what we do on Alpha Dent the Capital. And so at this time, I'm gonna turn it over to brother James Hammond who will recognize our um, guest uh, to speak for about two to three minutes, please. Good evening, brothers and guests. I wanted to um, start off by acknowledging um, brother Derek Jackson. I wanted to give him a couple of minutes to speak as he's as he will be running for office. So brother Jackson, I'll, I'll allow you to speak first, brother. Thank you, brother Hammond. And greetings to all the brothers. And I know this being also on Facebook Live. So to all the ladies and gentlemen who are joining us this evening, I am Derek Jackson. I, I represent District 64 and your candidate for Lieutenant Governor, which would be on the ballot this year. Currently, the primary is set for May 24th. The reason why I'm running is quite simple. And Brother Johnson mentioned it earlier, because it's not about me. This is about democracy. For those who don't know me, I'm a retired Naval officer. I am also uh, been in the community uh, in, uh, and in the, uh, corporate America for 10 years. And now I'm serving into my third term. So when you look at the collection of 37 years of leadership and service, I am uniquely qualified to be the next Lieutenant Governor for three reasons. When you think about manly deeds and scholarship and the love for all mankind. You have to make sure that it's the most experienced person that's gonna be the Lieutenant Governor because the Lieutenant Governor presides over the state Senate. It is not an easy task if you're unqualified, but if you are qualified, it starts off in the right foot because the Lieutenant Governor is one foot away to becoming the governor if the governor should be removed from office or become incap incapacitated for any reason. Brothers, democracy, our democracy is fragile. It's been tarnished, it's being attacked. Alpha has always been on the forefront for civil rights and voting rights, but also it doesn't stop there. Right now our speech is under attack. When you look at what the changes they wanna to make to social media, what you can and cannot say and how it would be profiled. Our learning is also under attack when they're talking about critical race theory, trying to make critical race theory as a boogeyman. Our history is what it is. They're also looking at healthcare, how they continue to marginalize those of us in the black and brown communities. Over a half a million Georgians with little to no healthcare. While we're still fighting this pandemic, we started off this year where our seven day average in Georgia was 31 deaths. Now we're up to 93 deaths on a seven day average. We're also talking about jobs, but not just simply any kind of jobs, but you gotta talk about wages because here in Georgia, our minimum wage is $5.15. It's even less than the federal minimum wage. We're talking about justice. Earlier um, this evening, we were talking about justice with the young college brothers. We continue to watch how our society look upon us in a, in a way that it should not. 
we are educated, we are sons, we are fathers, we are uncles. And so we need to make sure that we look at justice, not just for black and brown communities, but justice for everyone. And last but not least is this, if not us, then who? Our, we are the prayers of our ancestors. Our ancestors could not do what we can do today. We live where most folks could not live when our ancestors came to this country. They could not drive what we drive today. They were not educated the way we're educated. Some of us have three or four degrees, myself included. And so I, that's the reason why I'm running for Lieutenant Governor. There's my eight points that I, I would love for you to learn more about me. If you go to DerekJackson.org, that's D-E-R-R-I-C-K, DerekJackson.org. And I look forward to any, converse, any questions you may have and I look forward to the conversation. Thank you, Brother Jackson. Uh, that I greatly appreciate you for bringing those great remarks. Now I'd like to pass it to Dr. Jaha Howard, who's running for state school superintendent. Brother Howard. Thank you so much, Brother James, brothers and guests who are watching. I'm grateful to be here to talk to you just for a couple of minutes, but we have serious business to attend to. Serious business and that's our children. I'm running for state school superintendent. It's critical right now and for a variety of reasons, but mainly because education is clearly under attack. I currently serve as a Cobb County Board of Education member. I've seen it firsthand while being on the board, being in the minority, what it's like when the rules are changed as the game is going on. What it's like to fail to move with a sense of urgency for our kids who need help the most. We have some major issues happening at the state capitol right now. Several bills are on the floor to censor what teachers can say, to give parents the, uh, the, the attack weapon to say, hey, I don't like what you're teaching, so I'm going to report you creating more red tape. We have this incredible abusive relationship that our state government has with educators, telling them to shut up one minute, praise them the next minute, throw some money at them the next minute, and then tell them to shut up again. That is what's happening at the state capitol right now, and it's affecting all of our kids. Not to mention, we have this very lax, do whatever you wanna do uh, strategy when it comes to COVID. I'll be real with you. I'm home right now because of COVID came through this house, that came through our schools, that came to our children, that came to me. And me as a business owner, as a pediatric dentist running their own practice for over 10 years, that affects things. I know what it's like to be a business owner. I know what it's like to have a team of people that you're trying to manage to continue to work with excellence and compassion every day and still keep things going. We have a unique experience. As I'm a dad, I'm a husband of over of what almost 15 years and a dad of three kids. I grew up in Atlanta, Mays High School graduate, Howard University, Beta Chapter Maid. All the Deuce Club out there. Y'all, shout out to you. But I'm here, I'm home. We're putting up the work, we're putting in the work, and I want to do that work with you with excellence and compassion. Y'all, we are in this listening phase of our campaign. We have been listening to educators, to business owners all over the state, but I need to hear from more of you because when we put out our final platform, we wanna make sure we put something out there that we can get done. And I can't wait to work along with you. Some priorities, you're gonna see a, a board, you're gonna see a state education, uh, a department of education that really focuses on literacy from birth to third grade not waiting till kids show up in kindergarten. You're gonna see coordination of efforts like never before. So efforts that we do here in Alpha, efforts that you do in the church, efforts with business community and nonprofits can actually work together to achieve our goals, not separately, not in silos. We're gonna make that happen together. And I look forward to you joining this campaign. Imperfect people trying to make a more perfect Georgia. 
through our education system. I'm Dr. Jaha Howard. It's a serious business, y'all. Let's do the, let's tell the hard truth. Let's do the hard work. JahaHoward.com. Hit me up on social media. Let's work together. Let's do it. Brother Howard, thank you very much. And now I would like to pass the mic to State Representative William Bodie, who is who will be seeking the office of Labor Commissioner. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Mr. James Hammond, dear friend of mine. Uh, I, first of all, it's an honor to be here tonight uh, to be with the, the man of Alpha Phi Alpha. Uh, I am a, a man of Kappa Alpha Psi coming to you by where my providential poll mark that spoke er earlier this evening, um, providential poll mark, Brian Mock. But I'm here tonight to state to you that I'm running to be your next Georgia Labor Commissioner. And before I get into that, uh, I want to also express what my dear friend, Representative Derek Jackson stated about the attack on our democracy. And also what Dr. Howard said, the attack on our educators. We are going through that right now. The reason why I have on a black suit is because my caucus stood in solidarity of the gerrymandering of our lines, the, the attack on local control, the attack on our voting rights, the attack on our education, and the attack on uh, our speech. So I had to get that out of the way before I start talking about why I'm here. Uh, I run for Georgia Labor Commissioner because I want to put workers first. It's time out for what's been happening during the pandemic. I represent House District 62 since 2016, parts of Douglas County and parts of South Fulton. We as legislators have had to become de facto uh, employees of the Department of Labor. We all know on this call, on this Facebook Live, a friend, family member, church member, colleague that lost their job to no fault of own during the pandemic and could not get any body on the phone and human voice with the Department of Labor. They could not go into the offices, the career service, uh, career centers throughout the state offices because the doors were locked. They could not get an email return. And so during the pandemic, we did the hard work as legislators in returning those phone calls and answering those emails and also answering those phone calls. So first of all, I wanna make sure that we on day one of my administration, open all of the doors of the Department of Labor again to the citizens of the state of Georgia. Right now, this is a lawsuit that was filed by the Southern Poverty Law Center against the Department of Labor and the Labor Commissioner's current office for not basically doing his job. And I stood in solidarity with those uh, uh, allied organizations last week at a press conference. I wanna make sure that we uh, open up more career centers when uh, the last uh, uh, dear friend of mine was in office, last Democratic candidate or last Democratic Labor Commissioner, Michael Thurman was in office. When he left the office in 2010, it was over 81 career centers throughout the state of Georgia. Now we have about 40. Uh, it was over 4,000 employees throughout the state of Georgia that were employed by the Department of Labor. Now we have 1,100. So the Department of Labor was not set up for the pandemic, nor did it adjust to the pandemic like we all had to. Also on the workforce development side, I wanna make sure we create more opportunities for living wage paying jobs for African-American people of color, any Georgian throughout the state by partnering with the labor unions and their apprenticeship programs, by partnering with uh, the technical college system of Georgia, by partnering with the career academies. So if you have a, a 10th grader, a student that wants to get a vocational trade, they can start right in high school and doing it. I'm proud to say that I'm endorsed by over 150 elected officials throughout the state. I'm also proud to say that I have passed over 22 bills in five years as a Democrat, including the Ahmaud Arbery 479 citizens arrest repeal legislation that I'm very proud of. And I'm also was very proud to see those three guilty verdicts back in November of last year. So also I'm pushing pro worker legislation, currently right now working on legislation HB 1037 to create a peer navigator program in the state of Georgia to help disenfranchise targeted groups such as African-American people of color, the homeless, also uh, 
uh, anyone that has not had an opportunity to get into the workforce to get a livable wage paying job. And we will have a peer navigator program where labor unions, colleges, and also nonprofit work organizations will come in and help unemployed Georgians get the work that they need and also the livable wage that they deserve. So I'm here holding myself out to be your next labor commissioner for the state of Georgia. And my information, my website is www.bodie, for georgia.com. Again, that's Bodie for georgia.com. And that's the same for my social media handles as, as well. So thank you, men of Alpha Phi Alpha, and also to your district uh, director, uh, Mr. Sherman Lawton Jr. I appreciate the opportunity. And let's keep up the fight together. Thank you all. And thank you, brothers, for what you do in our community and for our state. Thank you, Representative Bodie. Uh, we thank you for all you do there at the Gold Dome, and we look forward to seeing all the great things that you continue to do uh, on your next journey. Uh, next, we would like to welcome Reverend Dr. D. Dawkins Hagler. I, I apologize if I got that name incorrect, but Reverend D. Dawkins Hagler. Unfortunately, we're having a little difficulty hearing you. Okay, while our while um Dr. Dawkins is um making some adjustment making some adjustments, um Brother Simmons, we've had a fantastic event here tonight. Um I I'm very proud. Dr. Dawkins, are you back with us? Unmuted, but uh, we can't hear you. We can check your audio settings on your device. Okay, while we, while 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 um while Dr. Dawkins is adjusting her microphone, I'd like to I'd like to introduce Mr. Lester Jackson. Mr. Jackson, are you available? Yes, sir. I am. Okay, if you could, the floor is yours, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To the men of Alpha, by Alpha, I'm honored to be a part of this event. I'm also honored to be uh, the original host of the Alpha Phi Alpha Day at, at the state capitol. I believe God takes ordinary people and do extraordinary things. And Alpha Phi Alpha has always been tied to purpose. And I want to say thank you for the men of Alpha Phi Alpha to be uh, not only an organization of purpose, but for your mentorship program, your community service, and your achievement. My name is Dr. Lester Jackson from Savannah, Georgia, State Senator representing District 10. I'm running for Labor Commissioner. Now, I'm running for Labor Commissioner for three primary things. Accessibility. We need the Labor Office open in Georgia. People of Georgia need a Labor Office that is accessible to the people of this great state. This office should not be locked around this great state. This office should not be closed around this great state. And when people call the labor office, someone should answer and not an answer machine. When you email the labor office, it should have a speedier response within 48 hours. Another important part of the labor office is job opportunity. I want to be your labor commissioner to offer job opportunities to the people of this great state, not just regular jobs, but jobs that pay livable wage. And we're going to go one step further than just giving people a job. We want to we want to inspire, encourage, and help people become entrepreneurs in this great state. So as, as you elect to your labor commissioner, I'm going to not only teach or guide, but I want to train young men and young women across this great state to be entrepreneurs if you choose to. And also, we need quick fast, claim response from the labor office because people around Georgia have car payments, house payments that need to be paid and their, and their claim should be responded in a fast manner. But one other thing we need in the labor office 
we need an entity that offer young black men and young black girls internship programs. I'm telling you, when I become your labor um, commissioner, I'm going to offer internship programs to, to the HBCUs across Georgia, but also offer young men and young women uh, um, that want to want to have internship programs, that want to know about finance, that want to know about uh, marketing and, and all the other specialties that, that, that's in business. We want to offer them that opportunity in the labor office. Like many, like many of you that are about the achievement, I'm a man of Cap Alpha Psi, and all of us have been tied to purpose. So I'm asking that we all get together, work on one accord to talk about a, a labor commission that's about accessibility, that offer job opportunities, and that offer quick response to claims, and also that's going to offer internship programs. I served in the General Assembly for over 20 years. I'm chairman of Urban Affairs, vice chair of my Senate caucus, past chair of the Georgia Legislative Black Caucus, a former member of the DNC, past treasurer of our state party. So this is not new to me. I am a man of service and I'm ready to continue my service, not only to the men of Cap, men of Cap Alpha Psi, the men of A5A, but to the people of Georgia. Let's go out and vote. And let's vote both progress and let's turn Georgia around. I'm Lester Jackson, Lester for Labor. Thank you so much, Mr. Jackson. We greatly appreciate you joining us this evening. Um, I'm, so we're still working with Dr. Dawkins right now. Give us just a moment. Bear, bear with us. Uh, Dr. Dawkins, can you, can you reach us? Can you try one more time? Okay, unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be working. Um, Mr. Hagler, did you want to assist us with this? Doctor, I mean, Mr. H David Hagler. Yeah, Roger. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Good afternoon, brothers. First, let me apologize uh, that I don't have on a tie. I just uh, had elbow surgery and uh, not fully functional with my right hand. But I am here on behalf of my wife, uh, Dorothea Dawkins Hagler. Uh, she is a past General Assembly member. She spent nine years in General Assembly. She is a past uh, women's chair. Of the ch uh, she's past chair of the Women's Caucus. She's a past chair, uh, two-time chair of the Georgia Legislative Black Caucus, and she has run for Secretary of State. And that's why I appeal to you today, brothers, on her behalf. Uh, she is running again for the office of Secretary of State. Uh, she has been uh, strong. Uh, in opposition against uh, some of the, uh, I guess, actions that are taking place uh, as far as uh, voting uh, barriers uh, and things of that nature that exist uh, currently in Georgia. Um, I wasn't fully prepared to, to do this, but um, I'm trying to give as much information as I can on her behalf. Uh, again, she is a, a wife, a mother, uh, a strong advocate. Uh, she's uh, been participating in the political process for a long time. Uh, it's her calling. Those of y'all who know her know that uh, she is definitely a defender uh, of our rights and a defender of the Constitution uh, So and the Constitution of the state of Georgia. So on her behalf, I just say thank you. Uh, we look forward to uh, working with you as she moves forward with her agenda as she runs for Secretary of State. Thank you so much, Mr. Hagler. That, that's what I'm talking about, stepping up and pinch hitting where you need to. Um, if you could, so Will, I, I believe that is all of the candidates that we have present. If there are any other candidates present, could you please uh, raise your hand, use the raise hand feature so I can acknowledge you? If not, we'll, we'll move forward with the program. Seeing none, I'll pass this meeting back to, back to our chair, Will Simmons. Thank you, Brother Hammond. Great job, and thank you to all the uh, uh, the candidates that uh, that greeted us and and, and talked, spoke with us. Um, at this point in time, I want to turn it over to our our fearless leader, um, Brother Sherman M. Lofton Jr. Uh, Brother Lofton, the floor is yours. Thank you, Brother Jackson, and good evening. Uh, good evening, my brothers. Good evening, all of our guests that are here uh, with us on Zoom, as well as those that are. Uh, seeing this via stream to Facebook Live. Um, Brother Sherman M. Lofton Jr., where I humbly serve as the Georgia District Director and am so thankful 
uh, for this particular event uh, that we were able to uh, convene once again um, for our annual 15th, our 15th annual Alpha Day at the Capitol. And while we were not able to meet under the Gold Dome as we had become accustomed to at least for 13 years, um, nevertheless, we did not want to uh, not miss an opportunity uh, to engage our, our leadership, engage our public officials, um, and engage our communities in what has become uh, essentially uh, more or less as part of the Georgia District's DNA. And I'm thankful to Brother um, Ellis B. Albright, uh, where the Alpha Day at the Capitol essentially was birthed. Uh, if it wasn't for his leadership uh, those many years ago that we wouldn't be here this evening. So thankful uh, to, to him and his, and his vision at that time. Um, I wanna say uh, to all of the public officials, those who are current as well as those that are running uh, for office, thank you for joining us and, and for addressing us um, about your campaigns as well as your platforms. Uh, we look forward to hearing more um, about what you plan to do to move this great state forward. And we do know, um, as Brother Jackson stated earlier, that in May, uh, those primaries uh, are just a few months away. Uh, so I know you, you all will be, uh, will probably pass each other in the communities on the corners on weekends and whatnot as you're all out there canvassing. Um, additionally, I also wanna thank um, my brothers and sisters in Greekdom who, who, who one brought greetings this evening or even were able to join us uh, here in person this evening uh, for taking time out of your schedule to support uh, the men of Alpha. Um, earlier this evening, our um, brother Wash Anthony Washington, our assistant district director and a panel of college brothers assembled and had a dynamic um, forum um, around uh, social justice, uh, voting rights um, and how it affects them on their campuses and surrounding communities as well as the youth. Um, if you missed it, you absolutely missed a treat. Uh, so I'm truly thankful uh, to those brothers uh, for sharing for sharing with us um, their perspectives as well as their passion. We definitely saw then that um, uh, our mission of, the, of Alpha developing leaders is absolutely uh, being realized uh, with those particular brothers. Um, also want to thank our past district directors who are with us this evening and all the brothers across the great district of Georgia uh, that are here as well. Um, and for those of you that also brought your mentees and had your mentees join this evening, I hope they actually um, were able to hear something that resonated with them. Um, but lastly, I want to thank uh, Brother Van Johnson, our brother who's the mayor of Savannah, uh, for his keynote um, address this evening. Wake up, everybody. Wake up, everybody. Man, Brother Johnson about to have me change my Alexa wake up song. Uh, I'm about to change that tonight. But uh, thank you, Brother Johnson, for your words and for your message. And uh, brothers, if, if you did not hear anything at all this evening, what you should have heard was that we cannot slow down. We cannot let up. The fight, the fight, the fight. The fight is here. It's always been here. But if we're not committed, to this fight. We cannot let apathy do us in in these primaries and we cannot let apathy do us in in November when these important elections occur. This fight for the primaries and in November are going to be about voter turnout. So just like we worked extremely hard in the fall of 2020, we have to work as equally if not more or harder here in 2022, because they tried, they have now moved the goalpost. So now we've got to go another 15 yards in order to cross the goal line. But what they fail to realize is that the men of Alpha, the men of Omega, the men of Kappa, the men of Sigma, the ladies of AKA, Delta, Sigma Gamma Rho, Zeta Phi Beta, we're built for this. We're built for this. And the, the thing is that they continue to try to divide us, but what they don't see is that under this umbrella of divine nine, we are united. We're all saying the same thing. We're all united for the same mission and the same goal. And that will strike fear in their hearts. Um, so brothers and sisters, again, thank you uh, for your time this evening. I do realize that the hour is late, 
Um, but I would be remiss if I didn't recognize Brother Simmons and our District Political Action Committee for the fine work uh, that you all have done once again. Uh, once again, y'all continue to raise the bar. Also, thank you to our technology committee for your great work and support. And brothers, uh, do you know chapter presidents, we will be meeting very soon because we need to get on the same page as to what our goal and mission is going to be over these next few months as we have to exceed uh, what we accomplished in 2020. And with that, I'll turn it back over to you, Brother Simmons. Uh, please allow Brother Washington, if he is still on, to have a few moments to address the, address the body. But uh, thank you all again. Have a wonderful evening. Good night. Great. Thank you, Brother Lofton. Brother, Brother Washington. Yes, sir. Thank you, Brother Simmons. And thank you, Brother Lofton. Uh, it was just, this is my first Alpha Day at the Capitol uh, being so, because I am a Spring 21 initiate of Alpha Alpha Fraternity Incorporated through the game of the chapter here at Fort Valley State University. But it was well informed, well planned out. I do want to thank, you know, Brother, Brother Simmons for always, for, well, for counting on me to one, lead the, be, the, be the moderator for the youth session and Brother Lofton for, for always pushing me to be great. Uh, I just, I'm wishing all of you candidates the best of luck in your prospective races. And just thank you. Thank you, brother, brother Washington. You and brother Lofton said it all out. I won't keep it or leave it a point. Uh, but again, I, I just want to say thank you to all the, our Greek brothers and sisters who joined. Uh, so 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 happy about that. Thank you so much for your support, and, and just know that we are here to support you as well. Um, and to the team, uh, there's there's a team of brothers that put this on every year. And um, we are, we're, I liken them to the swan on the water. It looks like everything's smooth, but what you don't know under the water, their feet is paddling a thousand miles an hour. And so I wanna thank you all. You know who you are. Brothers, appreciate you for all your work. Um, the extra grind, Brother Hammond and Brother Johnson that you do behind the scenes, Brother Jackson as well. Um, so many of you, thank you very much to the IT support team. Um, couldn't say enough, but brothers, uh, that's it, our guest. Thank you so much for joining us for this 15th annual Alpha Day at the Capitol. Hopefully, if Lord willing, we'll be in person um, uh, downtown Atlanta on Washington Street. But uh, we'll, we'll see. But with that, thank you all so much. Be blessed, be safe, and have a great night. Thank you very much.